Hi there, I hope you are good. Thanks for tuning in to this brand new video here on the Dart Counter YouTube channel. So today is finally the big day. At the beginning of December 2022, we as Team Dart Counter are releasing the biggest app update we've done in two years. Here we go. Months and months ago, I've already announced that something very, very big would be released in the Dart Counter app and today is the day. Because from today on, the Dart Counter app officially supports online play with camera. When you open the Dart Counter app and enter the global online lobby, in the top right corner you will find a camera icon. After tapping this icon, you can choose between your mobile camera and an external camera. The mobile camera is easily just the camera on your phone or tablet. An external cam is a webcam or a cam built into your laptop or desktop. In any scenario, place your phone or any other webcam you have got in a tripod or something else in front of your dartboard and select the setup you have. In case you want to use the mobile camera of your phone or tablet, select the first icon, tap next and in the next screen you will see what your device sees. You can adjust the zoom level and press save if you're satisfied. If you want to use an external cam, so like a webcam or a built-in cam on your laptop to place in front of your dartboard, tap the second icon and tap next. In the second step, you will find all the info to link your external cam to the Dart Counter app. Go to darts.camera in your browser on your laptop or desktop, which is linked to the webcam. On your laptop or desktop, you are on the website darts.camera. When you've pressed stream and went to the next step, you will see a code and a password which you need to enter in the app. Once you've entered the credentials, press connect and you will see the image of the external cam inside the Dart Counter app. Also, at this option, you can adjust the zoom level a little bit and press save if you're satisfied. Right now, your Dart Counter app is all set up with the camera for online games. And when you create a game, you will see a little camera icon next to your name so your future opponents can see that you are using a webcam. So if you want to join an online game, have a good look if you do see a camera icon next to the person's name so you know if that person uses a webcam or not. In the meantime, make sure that you don't close the tab in your browser where the stream is running. You can switch to another tab, but don't close it because otherwise you will lose the connection. So the app update for this big camera functionality is now available in the App Store and the Google Play Store. So go download Dart Counter or update the app and have fun. That was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please leave a little thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're brand new and I'm gonna see you next time. Cheers!